Today we're joined by Dave Springle. Now Dave's caught a lot of big carp from the Essex area and being quite a technically minded angler, he's always tweaking rigs and developing things to try and make them more effective. Now today Dave's going to show us a variation on the traditional hinge stiff rig that he's been working on and it seems to be working very well for him. So tell us how it works Dave. Well basically Dave I've been uh, fishing the chod rig pretty much exclusively for probably a couple of years. Yeah. Um, and it was all, everything was good, catching plenty of fish. And then I joined a couple of lakes uh, that had leader bands on mm -hmm. where I wasn't able to fish the chod off the lead core yeah. as I liked to. And uh, it just wasn't the same. I received, started receiving a few aborted takes and uh, I was definitely getting done yeah. uh, quite a few times in, in a short few weeks. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to keep a similar hook you know, the hooking pattern, the yeah. hooking section. I, I like the idea of the short, stiff hook link with a big hook mm -hmm. um, and, a, and a very light pop-up, but I needed to come up with something that I could use as effectively straight off of the main line yeah, yeah. as a, you know, as it was off the lead core. Okay, so let's start with the with the hook end, um, the business end, if you like. I see, start off with you obviously using a, a nice bright pop-up. Um, I see quite unusually using a very large ring to connect the pop-up to the, the D in the bristle filament. Why do, you do, why do you do that? It's basically just for movement. Right. Um, in a nutshell, there's a there's a 15 turn knotless knot there on the hook. Yeah. Um, and the, the size medium ring, the five mil ring, is sort of twice the size of, a, of, of the conventional ring that most people would yeah. use. So we're sort of doubling the size of the D, mm -hmm. doubling the size of the ring, and that sort of so it's doubles sort of, the amount of movement that the yeah, hook Yeah, so it's giving got. it more movement. Because usually most people are tying sort of a knotless knot with seven or eight turns. That's right. You've virtually doubled it. Doubled just it, to, yeah. So it's the hook bait sitting almost at the top of the shank. That's right. And you've got a very long D. Okay, so yeah, it looks on the end. You can see it's a very aggressive looking setup. So what's that hooks? It's a size five stiff rigger. Yeah. Um, because the hook's hanging directly underneath the pop-up, it yeah. just enables you to use a, a real big hook. Yeah, um, a nice a, straight point. A nice straight point, definitely pricks more fish than yeah. a beak point, and I think it lends itself to, to this setup yeah. a lot better. Okay, so you've got a fairly short section, you're using 25 pound bristle filament, aren't you? So it's very, very stiff. Yes, very stiff. Good for you know, excellent anti-ejection properties. But unusually, I notice you're using a crimp rather than a knot. Why do you do that? It's for two main reasons, Dave. Uh, first reason is, is purely for convenience. Right. Um, it's really quick to change the hook section over, mm -hmm. so in the event of catching a fish, I can leave the fish in the net to recover, yeah. snip the hook link off at the loop, mm -hmm. crimp another hook link section on which I keep pre-tied. So you keep a few tied up ready. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, tie a hook bait on. And away you go. And away we go, almost like a match angling so situation. You're, so you're fishing again within minutes? Yeah, instant, almost Brilliant. instantly, yeah. 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 Okay, so um, so when when you tie you know when you're tie, uh, tying them up with those crimps, yeah, you know, do those crimps work okay on the bristle? Obviously they do. But... Yeah, they work they work perfectly with any um, any stiff material really. Yeah. Um, the one thing I will say, if you, the only time when people do experience problems when they start to slip, uh, is because they haven't pre-stretch the material properly. The, be right. the best thing the best thing you can do with these stiff materials, um, when I tie these up, I tie the knotless knot on the D and, mm -hmm. and get that end of the hook link ready, yeah. and then I leave the, the tag end, the hook link end, quite long, eight or nine inches maybe. Right. Yeah. Um, thumb on the eye of the hook so that it doesn't go in your finger, yeah. and then just in between your teeth, stretch it out and just reduce the diameter, get all the stretch out of the bristle filament. Um, and then what happens is then when you when you crimp it, yeah. and in the event of hooking a fish, because there's all the stretch and, the, and has been taken out of it and the diameter can't reduce any further, oh, I see. there's yeah. no way that it can slip so it can't the contract crimp. down anymore, no, so there's no way right. it's going to slip there's at no all. There's no movement in it at all. Oh, that's a good tip. Excellent. So that's the hook section covered. Let's move on to the boom. What, how do you set that up? Yeah, the boom's dead simple. It's a uh, £20 black amnesia. Right. This end, we've got a size 11 high performance swivel, mm -hmm. obviously very, very strong. Yeah. Um, that's attached with a four turn grinner. Right. Just once through the eye, never slipped, never yeah. never had a problem with it at all. Um, and then virtually all of the swivel you can see there is is just covered with putty, yeah. with rig putty, and that's just enough putty to, to sink the pop up. So you got, yeah, so everything's masked by the putty. You just yep. got the eye of the swivel there protruding, which that's is it. obviously very free spinning. And it is, you've got a nice sort of streamlined link there, haven't you? That's correct, yeah. yeah. And then, so you've got that boom, I suppose it's what, about seven or eight inches long? Yes. Um, 
Explain this end of it, because you've got quite a long loop there. Yeah, this end you can see the loop, it is a long loop, it's probably a couple of inches, and the, the reason I do that is that once that loop is, is doubled over like that onto, yeah. onto this large eye quick change swivel, mm -hmm. um, is that you've, you've sort of got a boom there within a boom, yeah. so, it, you, so it really does kick the lead out. It's almost like twice kick as it away stiff from the lead. section, Exactly, isn't it? yeah, so it's kicked out a long way away from the lead, and just really, you can see there, there's a nice... Yeah, you can see it's, separation. it's never going to tangle, It's never going it? to tangle at yeah. all. So that lays it out nice and flat. It's never going to tangle on the cast. It's nice, nicely masked there with that little streamlined sleeve. That's right, so, yeah. so, that, so the putty in the sleeve is pretty much covering up yeah. all, of the, all of the metal wear from, yeah. from view. Very neat setup, yeah. yeah. And you just use it on a conventional helicopter lead setup on the, on the lead core yeah, leader? Yeah, wherever possible. You yeah. know, if, it, if it's really weedy, I, I have used it with a lead clip, but nine times out of ten it will yeah. be, a, it will be a, a, a conventional helicopter setup. If it's weedy again, and I haven't got a cast too far, I'll tie the lead on with some, some light yeah. mono. Yeah, so the lead comes off. That's yeah. correct, yeah. So looks like a nice rig there, Dave. So you've been, I know you've been using it for a few months. So what have you caught on it? Yeah, basically I've, I've, I've had fish to 40 pounds, 13 on the Brilliant. rig so far. Uh, I've had a couple of big 30s. Uh, I've had a nice 33 linear, 35 right. mirror, um, and sort of countless upper 20s, 28s and 29s um, in, in sort of various situations. So you've used it on various waters. It obviously yeah. works everywhere. And... Uh, I guess you get very good hook holds on it, so you, yeah, it's a very, you've it's got a very lot of confidence reliable. in it. Yeah, it's very, very yeah. reliable. Brilliant. Well, there you go. That's a very effective looking variation on the hinge stiff rig there. And you can see that is going to catch a lot of big fish. Okay, Dave, thanks for showing us that. Thanks, Dave.